Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a map in the Scratch RPG series on the Dribble Studios channel. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it because last episode we made our movement script so our character can move left and right like so. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is actually color our backdrop. So let's just make this a nice green grassy kind of color. Obviously I'm just going to make a square but I'm not converting it to bitmap because that makes everything pixely. There we go. We now need to rename this grass mainland. There we go. So now uh, all we want to do is just set this to grass mainland is the first ever backdrop. We now want to create a new backdrop. We want to call this one map and we want to get a nice map color. When you think of maps usually think of dirty old yellowy things don't you? I mean I, I do personally so there we go nice yellow thing there uh, there we go actually there we go now it's got a more yellowy thing and we want to code it so when we click a certain key on our keyboard it opens up the map so we want to go when green flag clicked we want to go to control um, oh never mind we want when we want to go back to events and we want to grab the when space key pressed but we don't want space key we want the letter M because M stands for map we want to go ahead and go like so so we want when M pressed switch backdrop to map this and so if we click this and click M it switches it to map there we go once you guys have done that I want you to go ahead and choose a sound I'm now gonna go ahead and choose the low wish sound that sounds like this once you've sounded sounded once you have found your sound uh, click on it and add it to your project so now obviously we have got the low whoosh sound in our sounds section here sound tab then we want to go start sound low whoosh drag that in the here so it's in the middle and so now when we click M we pull up our map that is pretty simple then and I think now we are going to do a simple piece of variable work. Never mind that guys, scratch that, don't worry about making any val val variables, it doesn't matter, this will do for now. So if we click the M key, it makes the swoosh, but that is a problem. If you hold down the M key, it that terrible annoying sound which I'm now gonna show you guys how to quickly fix that and as you can see guys I have now fixed the problem so all we needed to really do was just um, put a wait one second block here and make the play and sound low whoosh until done this wait one second basically adds a little cooldown before you can click M again so let's just T I'm gonna hold down the letter M here we go That was me holding it down and as you can see there is now a little cooldown before you can press it again. This you can increase the cooldown to maybe 5 seconds. Let's go. That was really long but it still works so I'm now just going to make mine a nice little 2 second cooldown so let's see how long this is.
not too long but not too short as well perfect you can experiment with that and make it as long as or short as you would like anyway moving on we now need to hide our main character from this so if we just go to events when we flag clicked I'm now gonna clean up look so it's nice and smooth gonna go down and go to uh, uh, events again sorry this is my bad when backdrop switches to map we want him to hide when backdrop switches to green grass mainland we want him to show so if we click uh, the green flag as you can see he will show click M he will disappear absolutely amazing now we want to add a cancel button so if we go to choose sprite uh, let's grab a nice little button here click uh, change this to map close let's make this really small maybe like 25 perfect uh, we want costumes we can delete this one and let's just make this a nice bright red color here as you can see and then let's make a nice little uh, X here nice little X here uh, I don't like the X actually there we go nice little red button here let's just change that to there uh, let's make this a bit of a nicer position 165 and maybe 220 it, it's not perfect but that's where it is we're gonna go to events when green flag clicked motion we're gonna go to go to our, that position so he will I know we want him to forever be locked in that position so now it is forever in that position no matter what we do I'm now gonna drag him over here and he will just continuously go back let's see if the movements working it is nice so once we got this uh, I'm not gonna make sure uh, this guy um, no, wrong person this guy here can only appear when it is the map so we're gonna go to main character we're gonna drag this guy this code into map close same with this one drop, drop them into here clean up the blocks and we're gonna swap these around so as you can see when we click this there we go and he disappears then we want to go over to our backdrops and as you can see here we want this code here but instead of a key press we want map close so let's go over to our map close and let's grab a events when this sprite is clicked change backdrop to grass mainland so now as you can see here we can now constantly close the map this is nice obviously we still have the cooldown of the map which is perfect now we've got the map working I do want to just say that if we go overhead and click the uh, green flag make sure everything's working yep movement is working perfectly then if we click the map now if we start moving again it should move our character yep our character moves let's just put him top left corner go into map uh, just hold S and D and he's moved to the bottom right we can prevent this by doing a really easy uh, little editing to our movement code here uh, this is really really simple and it was probably be the easiest fix uh, we will ever do so if we go to control go have an if then uh, let's just clean up blocks let's go to operators uh, go have this equal one here clean up blocks again looks uh, go down to backdrop number change this 15 to a 1 clean up blocks again save it um, and we go actually let's move him into the 
top left corner, go into our map, hold down S and D. He hasn't moved at all, let's make sure it's still working. It is. And we have locked our movement simply. Now I should probably mention why this works and the reason f that it does is because as you can see on the screen right now each backdrop or scene whatever you want to call it really is given an index and it starts at number one. In our case the main grass scene is number one on the index for the backdrops so therefore by saying if backdrop number equals one you're saying if the backdrop equals the main grass scene which it does in our case for our main grassland so it can no longer move when we uh, uh, have the map open which is really good uh, as it makes it less likely for us to bug the game out later on in the series but if you guys did enjoy this episode please do leave a like and subscribe uh, and basically we will be doing uh, map details in the next video I hope you guys enjoyed please do leave a like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video peace out